in decreasing um, order of the exponents but rather increasing order uh, determine the coordinates of the turning point uh, sorry of the point of inflection of the curve of f okay remember what the point of inflection is if i were to draw this one this one would have this shape uh, how do i know it has this shape i know it because of the coefficient of the of the leading term the leading term is the one with the highest exponent leading term uh, always determines the shape and in this case it's a negative value so we will have this upside down in shape okay so the point of inflection is the point that where it stops being convex this valley shape and starts being concave this cave shape okay so in this case um, or not in this case always how do we find the point of inflection we make the second derivative equal to zero and then we solve for x substitute x into the function to get the y value of the coordinate so we need the second derivative the first derivative is equal to this is just a constant so the derivative is zero 414 x to the power of one the one gets multiplied there so we have one one four x to the power of 0, which I don't have to write, minus 2 times 10 is negative 20. Uh, the x now has an exponent of 1, since I have to subtract 1 from the exponent, finding the derivative, and then negative 6 x to the power of 2, when I subtract 1 from the exponent, the 6 from the 3 times negative 2 gives me negative 6. That's the first derivative. I need the second derivative though, so I find my second derivative, and that means I just take the derivative of the derivative. So again, the derivative of a constant is 0. Negative 20 gets multiplied with the 1 exponent of the x, so that gives me negative 20. The x now has an exponent of 0, which means it's simply 1, minus, and then 2 times 6 is 12. Negative 12 x to the power of 1. Now, this is the expression that I need to make equal to 0. So, I need to set negative 20, negative 12, x equal to 0. And that gives me the value. x is equal to negative 20 becomes positive 20 divided by negative 12. So, 20 divided by negative 12. What does that give me? 20 divided by negative 12 uh, is... 1 and 3 quarters okay uh, no 1 and 2 thirds is 1 and 2 thirds or it's equal to uh, 1 times 3 is 3 plus 5 2 is 5 over 3 okay that's good enough okay in other words the uh, 4 goes into 25 times and into the uh, 12 three times and I shouldn't forget these are all negative numbers there's only one inflection point that's why we get one x value there's only one inflection point where it stops being convex starts being concave and to find the y value we now know the x value is negative five over three in other words that's uh, one comma six six seven uh, six six repetitively let's do that rather uh, one and six repetitively so let's substitute that so we have uh, 5 over 3 with a negative. Okay, so there is, and we're going to say memory store, put that in the memory so that we can just recall it as we're substituting into our function. So there's our function. Okay, there's our function. Substitute in there, we get 378 plus 114 times x, which is now memory recall. Uh, 378 plus 114 times memory recall there we go minus 10 times memory recall squared minus 2 times memory recall cubed and our final answer 169.48 rounded the y coordinate the y value when we substitute so f of negative 5 over 3 would give me 
16948 to 169,48. So they ask me for the coordinates, so I must answer in coordinates. So it's negative 5 over 3 and 1, and this was rounded, so we should use approximation signs. And 169.48. There we go, that is the inflection point, the coordinates of the inflection point for this function.